Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Rather Late Program with your host, Bash Dinsmore. Um, so, I'm still a little bit bunged up from the other day, um, so you're going to have to put up with this. But, we've got our second episode of our final series of this podcast talk show. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is a sad day when I announce the final series of the Rather Late Programme with Bash Dinsmore. The main reason for this is because I'm busy. I've been running, you know, Saltire for the past few years. I've been doing Journey most recently. I've been, you know, working on plays and theatre. I've been doing, you know... Other, I've been doing other things. I've, I've made Hunter. I've, I've, I've been busy, folks. I've been busy. Um, and I know that's no excuse, but I think it's finally time to put this show to one side. Um, because I am busy now. I am up and running and doing things again. Um, after COVID, and I just don't have time to to do the show anymore. Um, so you'll have about uh ten to fifteen more episodes of me. So you you I'm not going anywhere. You've got me for about fifteen more weeks. Um, but then it's done. Once it's over, it's over. Um. Yeah, sorry about that. But you'll have me well into June, July, uh, I think, and we'll have some really good guests. Last week, of course, we had Anthony Tremaine, a brilliant composer. Um, this week, we have no real guest, so to speak. I'm just going to be talking about one of the latest shows that I'm working on um, and using archive footage from some of the episodes to put in here. Um so you can have a listen. Um, but yeah, so 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 there there'll be a couple of ones like these where I talk about the projects that I'm working on, because that's what it is. It's talking about projects and work. Um, and if I don't have a guest, I'll talk about the projects that I'm working on because I'd like to get that out there as well. Um, yeah, so. So this week's episode is titled Altered Space, or the cast of Altered Space, or, or something like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, and we are going to be talking about this new series called Altered Space. Um, yeah, I've got interesting stories to tell you about this one. So, hopefully the creator of the show, because it's not my creation this time... Normally I create the show and then showrun it and then pass it on to a different showrunner. This is uh, created by someone else. And they asked me to showrun it for them. Um, And so I am. And it's going wonderful. Uh, We've got a great cast. Um, Yeah, so we'll be talking... Talking? We'll be talking about that in just a few moments. Um... Yeah. Yeah. This is a long-winded cold open yet again. Uh, just like last week. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it here. We'll do the intro, and then, uh, and then we'll get into it. So let's, uh, as we say, let's get into it, ladies and gents.
welcome back from the intro, ladies and gentlemen and others. Um, so this week we are talking about Altered Space. So I'm now, I'm wrapping up Soltar. We are working on the final ever episode of that. Journey is on its hiatus between series two and series three. So we're on a break from that. I'm now running this audio series called Altered Space. So, let's take you back to the start, shall we? How was I approached for this? So, ages ago, back in January, this is now April. Um, yeah, back in January, I got a, I got a DM on Instagram. Now. This person wasn't necessarily a good pal of mine, but uh, I knew of them because they were in the drama society of my university. Um, but I didn't really attend a lot of those sessions because all they did was warm up games, and that's not really acting, in my opinion. That, that that literally is a drama club, so you know, after school for little kids. So I'm not I'm not interested in that. I want to I want to act, I wanna do plays, I wanna I wanna do theatre, I wanna do you know, I wanna do um film and T V. So I was like look, I'll turn up and be social, but fuck me, I'm not I'm not staying if all they're doing is playing memory games and, and all that, you know? Anyway, there's this one lass who's in that uh, that group, or was, I don't know, was in that group, uh, no longer in it anymore. And um, she approached me on Instagram. I knew of her, of course, but um, they 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 sent me a very cryptic message, ladies and gentlemen. It was very interesting. It stated. I have ideas. And I was like, well, that's a bit fucking creepy. Uh, <laughs> either you going to murder me or there's something else behind this. And, you know, there, there was the classic, I have great plans for you, my friend. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, what's going on? So then we got into it and she stated I have ideas for an audio series that I'd like some help with and I was like well pitch it to me alright because I've just finished Saltire I'm on hiatus of journey so I've got some free time um, pitch it to me and if I like it I'll help you run it I'll be an EP or a showrunner if I don't like it, I'll still consult. I'm not going to be a dick about it. Um, so I was like, pitch it to me. Um, so they went away. And about an hour later, they came back with this, this tiny sentence of... <laughs> of space gay. And I was like, well, I'm going to... You're going to need a little bit more than that, right? Like, I can't really go on from just that. That's 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 nothing. That's no information. So I went back to them and I was like, right. Push further still. Tell me a bit more. And they said... Um, <laughs> they, they, they said... You can't really say it nowadays. Um... <laughs> right, so so we'll 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 uh, <laughs> we'll 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 uh, we'll say it on here, but it 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 doesn't leave here. All right. Uh, so so she said uh something along the you know the lines of uh, the gays in space, and I was like, you can't say the gays in space. Um, it's really like, oh, for fuck's sake. Anyways, so. We then moved on to 
developing that idea a bit more. I was like, nobody's going to want a show which is all about, you know, she she developed that idea into some people on a space fleet get trapped on a planet and they just pork for the rest of the season. And I'm just like, you can't really do that. It's an audio series. All you're going to hear is grunting. Like, you know, I want I want a bit more from a show, you know. Um, so I was like, how about we do a show about sp- sci-fi and space and we have some gay stuff in it as well. And she was like, I'm sold. So that's how it got started. So we then had the idea. So Gabby and I had to develop it. And we developed it into something different. Um, So it took a couple of months of developing. Uh, I brought on two other executive producers, uh, EPs, as we call them in the TV world. Um, So I'll refer to them as EPs for the rest of the episode. Um, So as well as Gabby, who's the creator of the show, being an executive producer, I'm the showrunner. So... I'm running the show, I'm in charge of what happens, and basically Gabby's not really a experienced writer or uh, knows how to run a show, so she asked me to do that, and then maybe in series two she'll step up and then we'll see. Um, but I became the showrunner, head writer, executive producer of that show, uh, because I was wrapping up Salter and had more free time. So I became the showrunner, so I brought on board two other executive producers to EPs, um, both named Matthew Baker and Eve Foster. Matt is an old pal of mine, um, you know, from early days up in Scotland, um, but he's, you know, like me, he does do a very good English accent and uh, and can use that for projects. So when he's acting, he does use an English accent for the majority of the time, although he is a Scot. Um, same like my pal Hamish Clark, who does an American accent most of the time. Um, but yes, so Matt, is a brilliant writer and so is Eve. Uh, they're both showrunners in their own right. They've ran shows before successfully, so you know they they they're both very good writers. But they've both worked under me before, and they know the job. And you know you don't want to run multiple shows on the go, so they're happy just working as writers in the writers' room on this. Um. You know, um, however, I do run multiple shows on the go because I want to get the shit out there. Anyway, so we decided that series one was going to have 16 to 17 episodes. The main cast was found after multiple auditions, uh, and that is starring Lucy Morhen, Chris White... David Cooper, Zach Tate, Gabby Noel herself, Edward Tracy, with Emily Fleetham, and George Dinsmore. Look, if I'm not in the main cast, you need at least a Dinsmore. And no, we're not related, but I will keep telling everyone that we are cousins. He's based in America. I think he's in Kentucky or Atlanta or something like that. Anyways, enough about me and my potential cousin, George. Um, the thing is, we, we potentially could be cousins, you know. Uh, just just very distantly removed. You know, Dinsmore's all came from Scotland. So, you know, half of them left for America and half of them left for England. Um... Yeah, so so we could be related, just down the line, Um, but we'll see. Um, So yes, 
Altered Space has a great main cast. Here are them in action. Let's take you to the very start and show you the prologue before we actually show you the main cast. This is Matthew Lee as Shaitan Savage, our season's villain. Let's get to work. What's your name, sir? Matthew. <laughs> your mother was brave, just as your father was foolish. Tell me, which one are you? <laughs> so, you take after your mother, eh? or perhaps not. So, that was Matthew Lee as Shaitan Savage. He's a formidable actor, a scary villain too. But now, let's show you the main cast. So on Earth 52, this is Myra and Jason Knight talking about the current mission ahead. Are you not panicking? You forget, I've done all this before. I packed up the other night. Yeah, it's all right for you. If you've done all this before. <laughs> You'll be fine, Mira. Don't worry too much. But I am worried. Don't be. You've got a whole day ahead of you. We leave tomorrow. You're right. I should just take it easy. Exactly. Not too easy, though. You still have to pack. Just not in the next five minutes. You're right. So, that is our brother and sister duo. Um, they are a great uh, team. Um, when they when they're working together, um, Lucy Morehen is our series lead, and George Dinsmore was our veteran actor on the show. Um, however, it's just really sad for us because George had to go on a cruise, so I knew he couldn't do the full season as a series regular. Um, but I thought instead of just crediting as a guest, um, he should be credited in the main cast because he is a main character in those first five episodes. So when it gets to episode five, he becomes the lead because it's his episode to shine. Um, yeah, so he he gets to he gets to shine in his final episode, and ultimately we had to write. Jason out of the show using some shitty excuse like his his wife's pregnant um, but then that that was an excuse but it, it became a nice little storyline because we can play with that down the line especially in series 2 now Jason has left the main cast but he will be returning in a few more episodes of series 1 he's returning actually in uh, next week's episode, um, episode 9, um, or is it episode 10? Yeah, he's returning in episode 10, um, titled The Reverse. He won't be playing Jason, but he will be back playing a different character that he's played on Saltire. So those eagle-eyed viewers may remember that. Um... Yes, so, as well as this, um, we didn't, we, we had stuff for George and Jason to do, but in the end it was more like he was just being the big brother who knew everything and, uh, you know, that would either take away from Lucy's character Myra and basically make her not the lead of her own show, and basically put Jason George in the um in the lead spot which is fine Jason is you know a, a very good character and George is an amazing actor but it's you know it's um it's Lucy's show and because of that we don't want, we don't want Jason's 
character, uh, George's character Jason to take over. It's Lucy's show, she needs to be the lead. But, that being said, veteran actors, you know, people with the with title or the and title, they're leads in their own rights. George and Emily have both been leads before. I've been a lead. But I'm not the main character, that's why I get the ant in the guest stars. But with our veteran actors, I can't. With, with, with Jason, there was just. He was just there. And he, he already knew the shit. Like, so, so I didn't want to not use him, but I didn't want to overuse him. You know, that's that's what a veteran's there for, to help the lead, but it's their show. So, I decided to you write out Jason so that George could go on his cruise. And then, George can come back as a guest. He's already signed up for the finale. He's in one of the uh, episodes between now and the finale. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's he's got three more episodes as a main cast member, just he's not credited for the rest of the season unless he's in those episodes. Um, <clears throat> and then with Emily, it's the same thing. Uh, we've got such a great actress that I feel like she's being underused. She doesn't have an arc like a lot of the other characters. So I was like, look. I hate doing this because it feels like we're, f- we're not firing you but getting rid of you but we're not using you and I know you're busy doing other projects as well so I'll write you out and you can be a guest as well. So our two veterans are already gone halfway through the series. Let's have a listen to Jason's last uh, appearance before he returns and George's last appearance as of now all right if you need anything if you don't need anything just call me keep her safe you know i will if you need anything you have my number always good luck (sighs) we're gonna miss you and you're back into this sam that carries a certain responsibility she's your sister i'm the captain of the chrysalis She's in less need of protection than you think, but well... And you too. I'm glad I could put the two of you together before leaving. Oh, shush you. Well, this is it. Thanks for clearing a few things up for me. And for being there. Always by my side. Of course. And one final piece of advice from your big brother. Sure. If you're worried about Allison, go see her. You talk to her about how things ended. Maybe you can salvage the last five years. I thought I was the one that gave the wise sibling advice. Nope, that's never been the case. I'm going to miss you so much. You'll be with me the whole time. And with Emily's departure, I don't have her recordings for that yet, so I'm not going to show you that. You'll have to watch the series. But... It's it's a fantastic show, and they're all great actors, and and uh, you know play great characters. And I'm not just saying that because I write the fucking thing. Um. But yeah, they're all original characters apart from my character, who I am reprising the role of Captain Alex Lance from Protectors of Time back in 2019, and. That has been a pleasure to return to him after four years of not uh, portraying Alex. He's a great character. Um, and there's, there's there's more to explore. So he's very focal uh, to series one of Altered Space. And I'm even the lead of two episodes. Uh, I'm a guest star throughout series one. Or the first half of series one. Then there's two episodes in the middle which I'm the lead for. um, Because they're very centric around me. And Myra's not really in those two episodes. So I'll take the lead 
Um, and then after that, I'm credited as a special guest star. Um, yeah, so then, and then in series two, I'll, I'll be a series regular. Um, but I won't be the lead. However, this this show has been really, really good. Um, we've just had episode six released this week um, with our our wonderful David Cooper, um, who's a brand new actor, uh, and he's doing a swimmingly amazing job. Um, he will be appearing on this show before we finish the series, so look out for his episodes, but have a listen to David Cooper as Kieran Jones. Kieran, I had no idea what you were going through. I am so sorry. I was, I'm going to make up to you, I swear. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's all good. Wait, can you give me a second, please? Okay. Easy second, what's up? I press a call into my godmother. Yeah. Seems like she'd been waiting weeks for that, actually. I'm sorry. Look, Harry, I'm trying my hardest not to say anything disrespectful to you, so please, respectfully, just give me some space and fuck off. All right? No, I want to fix this. You can't. Because you are not letting me. Because you're too late. Carrie, the one time I needed you, the one time, where were you at? Right? But if you need something, you expect me to drop everything. No questions asked. Because that's how this relationship works. You need some advice about something, I give it to you. You need some support in a crisis, you got it. You need somebody to kiss to get over your ex. I'm your man, right? Right? You said it yourself. I'm always there for you. I know, and I'm sorry. Don't be. Please, don't be. I'm actually not mad at you. I'm mad at myself to think that you could actually come through for me. How did it take this long to realise how selfish you are? <laughs> wow. Mental. So, that was David Cooper and Gavin Noel, our series creator, um, in a very deep scene um, in Altered Space, episode 6, uh, Real Life Shit. Um, David Cooper does a swimming job. Why, why do I keep saying swimming? Swimming, is that used as good? I don't know. He does an amazing job as this great um, actor. Uh, <coughs> character as well. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's new and excited. It's very good. Um... You're going to have to watch the series to see how things turn out. Things are not as they seem, but there are always great performances from the cast. Yeah, that's all I'll say on that. Um, so Altered Space is taking up a lot of my time at the moment. It should be taking up a lot of your time watching it or listening to it. So... I'll say that. Now, we're going into the final two minutes. I'm not really going to do uh, any hypotheticals today because I don't have any guests. I'm going to wrap it up nice and quick and then let you get out of here. I'll see you all in the next one, ladies and gents. <laughs>